Good day everyone! Welcome back to Math A YouTube channel. Kung hindi ka pa nakakapag-subscribe sa channel na ito, please click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more updates. Our lesson for today is about triangle congruence postulate. So, there are three types of triangle congruence postulates. So, first is the side-side-side or SSS congruence postulate. Another, side-angle-side or SAS congruence postulate. And the third one, angle-side-angle -angle or ASA congruence postulate. So, let us discuss first side 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 congruence postulate it states that if three sides of one triangle are congruent to three sides of another triangle then the two triangles are congruent so ito yung illustration natin sa side 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 congruence postulate as you can see meron tayong mga identical marks na ginamit sa ating triangles so, we have here triangle MGB and triangle RTP. So, yung ating identical markings show the corresponding congruent parts of our triangles. So, let us name one congruent part. So, side MG is congruent to side RT. So, ito yung ating MG. So, we have here side MG and side RT. So, yun yung isang side na congruent. Another, we have here side GB is congruent to side TP. And the last one, we have side MB is congruent to side RP. So, yun yung three sides na congruent sa ating dalawang triangles. So, we can say now that Triangle MGB is congruent to triangle RTP by side-side-side congruence postulate. So next, side-angle-side or SAS congruence postulate. It states that if two sides and unincluded angle of one triangle are congruent to two sides and unincluded angle of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So, ito yung illustration natin para sa SAS congruence postulate. So, we have triangle MAT and triangle SIP. So, again, we use identical markings para makita natin yung corresponding congruent parts ng bawat triangles. So, based dito, we have side MA is congruent to side SI. So, yun yung ating congruent side. Another, we have angle M is congruent to angle S. Yun yun naman yung tinatawag na included angle. And the last one, side MT is congruent to side SP. Yun yung ating isa pang congruent side. So, take note. Ang included angle ay nasa pagitan ng dalawang congruent side. So, we can now say that triangle MAT is congruent to triangle SIP by means of side angle side or SAS congruence postulate. The third one, angle side angle or ASA congruence postulate. It states that if two angles and unincluded side of one triangle are congruent to two angles and unincluded side of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So, based dito sa ating illustration, we have triangle FRY and triangle DIP. So, again, gumamit tayo ng identical markings para makita natin ang corresponding congruent parts ng ating triangles. At base dito, we have angle R 
is congruent to angle I. So, yun yung ating first congruent angle. Next, side RY is congruent to side IP. Yun naman yung ating included side. And the last one, angle Y is congruent to angle P. Yun yung ating another congruent angle. So, sa pagkuha ng included side, tandaan na ang included side ay nasa pagitan ng dalawang congruent angles. So, we can now say that triangle FRY is congruent to triangle DIP by means of angle side angle or ASA congruence postulate. So, let us answer this activity. Tell whether triangle ABS is congruent to triangle NCU. If so, which postulate could be used to prove? Is it SSS, SAS, or ASA congruence postulate? So, let us start with number 1. So, kapag inanalyze natin ang ating triangle sa number 1, Makikita natin na meron tayong dalawang angles at isang included side that are congruent. So, therefore, ang sagot natin dito ay yes. By means of ASA congruence postulate. So, ano-ano naman yung corresponding parts na makikita natin dito sa ating triangles. So, we have here. Angle A is congruent to angle N. And then, our included side, side AS is congruent to side NU. And another angle is, angle S is congruent to angle U. So next, proceed tayo sa number 2. So based sa ating figures sa number 2, meron tayong tatlong corresponding congruent sides. So, therefore, the answer is yes, and it is proved by SSS congruence postulate. So, ano-ano yung mga corresponding congruent parts? So, we have here, side AS is congruent to side NU, side BS is congruent to side CU, and side AB is congruent to side NC. Next, number 3. Analyze natin ang figure. Sa so number 3, meron tayong dalawang angles at isang side na congruent sa bawat triangles. However, ang side na congruent sa ating dalawang triangle ay side BS and C side CU. So, side BS and side CU is not an included side. So, ibig sabihin, the answer is no. Okay, so let us proceed with number 4. So, sa number 4, we have here two sides that are congruent and one included angle. So, the answer is yes, by means of SAS congruence postulate. So, ano-ano naman yung parts that are congruent? So, first, we have side AS is congruent to side NU. Another, the included angle is angle S is congruent to angle U. And the last one, we have side BS is congruent to side CU. Okay, so let us proceed with number 5. Take a look at number 5. We have here two sides that are congruent at isang angle. Pero, as you can see, ang angle na congruent dito sa ating dalawang triangles ay not included angle. So, therefore, the answer is no. So, they are not congruent. So, let us proceed to our last activity. Identify the parts of triangle needed to be marked 
to have the following triangle congruence. So sa number 1, ang given natin ay triangle END and triangle BOS. So given na din ang identical markings para sa dalawang parts ng ating triangle that are congruent. So we have here side EN is congruent to side BO and side ND is congruent to side OS. So using SSS congruence, ano pa yung part ng triangle natin na kailangan natin lagyan ng identical markings para masabi na sila ay congruent? So our answer will be side ED is congruent to side BS. How about using SAS congruence? So SAS stands for side angle side. So, we already have here two sides that are congruent. Ang kailangan na lang natin ay ang included angle. So, our answer will be, angle N is congruent to angle O. Okay? So, proceed tayo sa number 2. So, number 2, our triangles are triangle FLY and triangle JMP. So, ang given identical markings natin at congruent parts ng ating triangle ay angle F is congruent to angle J and side FY is congruent to side JP. So, using SAS congruence postulate, ano pa yung kailangan natin lagyan ng identical markings sa ating triangle? So, we already have here one side. An included angle, so we are looking for another side. So our answer is, side FL is congruent to side JM. Next, how about ASA congruence postulate? So ASA means angle side angle. So we are looking for two angles and one included side. So, since meron na tayong isang angle at isang side, so ang hinahanap na lang natin ay isang angle. And that is, angle Y is congruent to angle P. So, that can be proved that our triangles are congruent using angle side angle congruence postulate. That ends our lesson for today. Thank you for watching. I'm Peter Grace. See you again next time. Bye!